All right, series and selling this bodybuilding. Olympia 2023 breakdown and review. We got a star studded cast. We got the legend, Jason Arns. We got the other legend, Jose Raymond. And we got the future legend, Stanimal. And me, your host, John Livia, who never got past the fucking NPC show. But that's all right. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, we'll just break it down. We'll, we'll go from one to ten. It, nothing's formal. Jump out. I don't give a shit. And then um, we're, afterwards, we'll talk about who... who uh, who can't make break the top 10 or, or dark horses that can break the top 10. And uh, we're obviously not going to include the guys who aren't coming in, the guys who are, you know, the Kamals and the dashes and so on and so forth, who aren't going to make it, you know, the Rammies, blah, blah, blah. And that's about it. What's happening, fellas? Stan, what's going on, man? I'm good. Yeah. Just finished a great back workout, back at triceps. How you feeling? What, uh, what kind of weight you up to now? I'm like 250. I'm still very lean. Like I look like I was two weeks out from my first show this year. Really? How come you staying so lean? Can I do another show? No, I'm just meeting a lot. And my performance is getting, you know, I'm getting better in the gym, but <clears throat> just staying lean. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Yeah. Jose, how about you? How you doing, man? I'm not so lean. I was just saying, <laughs> I was just saying he's staying lean too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing good. I'm not as big or as lean as Stan. But uh, I also don't have those genetics. I don't think Stan's ever been fat. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went back on TRT and I feel like a million bucks. Feels, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I put on 12 pounds in like three weeks well, and got leaner. Yeah. yeah. I did Dude, six my weeks. Wife, my ex-wife is single. You might be able to pair up. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. give that a shot. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Bro. How old is she? 72. Uh, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't send her to my worst enemy. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, she's over 30 and you know, we'll have she's to talk. Over 30. It was dude. Was... Yeah, Poor forget joke. about it. Poor joke on my <laughs> idea. I was off I was off TRT for 6 weeks and I'm like Jesus Christ. For 14 yeah. months. Yeah. No, 14 months, dude. 14 what? months. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, it was brutal. And yeah. I didn't even notice it. That I was just like unmotivated and like feeling like shit, but I still went along with my day every day. Yeah, of course. and it, it wasn't until I went back on that that I felt alive again, felt right? Normal. I'm like, oh my god, what the hell was I doing? I had zero libido. Yeah. Over what, year. what were you thinking? Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I hate so, that. Yeah. I hate when I hate when you don't have a sex drug. I fucking hate that. That when when I'm when I'm when I'm off TRT, I literally, and I'm not even exaggerating. There are times where I feel like I, I, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to jerk off. Right. I'm going to, and then I literally stop and go get a glass of water and just go about my day. I don't even finish. <laughs> That's yeah. good. The Lord good will be proud of you. you know, just going to jerk off instead of going to fuck your wife. It's always better to pick. You know, yeah. The, the- yeah, the jerk off method. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially when you don't feel like fucking jerking off. It's amazing. It, it's safe. Or fucking your wife. Either way, you know. Yeah. You're, 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 you're in a good place, John. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes I even forget that I was jerking off. Like, Why would she just go fuck your wife? Why do you think you're she's not off? home? You know, and I'm like, I'll jerk off. She's not home. You know. <laughs> Why don't you save it for? Her? Dude, yeah, no, save it. What is, what is it? Wine? Minutes, what, is, what is it? Yeah. Wine? I'll blow it the fuck out. It's on that that old where I can't fucking nail her and jerk off at the yeah. same time. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Holy shit! How old what, are you? Forty-seven. Ah, uh, yeah, you're plenty old. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. But with with TRT, a little bit of the, the Viagra, you feel like you're nineteen. You know what proves that you're not nineteen when you're on TRT and Viagra? When you actually ejaculate and you can't get past the belly button, <laughs> it's like it's like bubbles just come out. Like, ah, oh, I'm nine, I'm forty seven. I'm not nineteen. Uh, anyway, cotton balls. Yeah, Stan, Stan, you have these problems or no? You're probably shooting missiles like a fucking I'm rocket. Good. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. All anyway, right. <laughs> all right. Who are? Right. I think we're probably all. I, I think we're all going to be on the same page of who's going to win this year. Who's winning the Olympia? Derek Lunsford. Yeah, I'm picking Derek too. What do you think, Jose? I too feel like it's his turn. Yeah, I just feel like the pictures that have been floating around, like nobody looks like that. 
No, it's, no. it's it's arguably one of the greatest backs of all time, and I'm being serious. Yeah, yeah. It, it is really wild. Um, and when you see that front relax when he first comes out, and it's just mm, breathtaking. And, and and his waist didn't get any thicker. No, no. <laughs> the only like, thing I question is if Hottie improved as well, which he very well may have. He's yeah, just but but Hottie still doesn't have, have Derek's look. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, he doesn't have that shape, but his in person, his density is yeah, so crazy. much miles ahead of Derek from the front, but he doesn't have the shape. So if, if, if Hottie is not better than last year, Derek can win without, yeah. without a doubt. I don't think Hottie could improve except for conditioning. Whereas Derek improves every year by putting more quality, dense muscle on. You know, him and Samson are the two guys that just continue to make incredible progress by putting more and more muscle on. Hadi, I think, is as filled out as possible. He probably could come in better conditioning. No, dude, he's he's what? He's in fucking pretty dry, dude. Hadi? No, 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 no. But oh, last year, but two th- but the thing is 2022, he wasn't as dry as 2021. Yeah. So, and don't think that him and his coach Ramrod don't fucking know that, right? So, but that I think that's the only improvement he could possibly make is coming drier. But I don't think he could put make the progress that Derek or Sampson. I think he's completely. I think he's filled out his frame. I think he's going to put on as much muscle as possible. I got him in second though. I don't think he's going to drop off that much. I think he knows exactly what we just said, and I got him in second. And I think it's going to be relatively close. Stan, what do you think? No, I agree with you. I mean. I think last year they uh, probably because of the you know the schedule got got really late. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of people like flattened out, spilled over, and didn't bring the best look. I remember myself like when I saw Hadi, you know, I had him winning the show before as my prediction. But once he, oh no, I think I had Rami that year. But I mean, I always wanted my top two had been Hadi, Hadi the last few years, and when he walked on stage, he was way out of shape for himself. I was like, whoa, he's off, and I thought he was gonna you know, not gonna win. And then as the show went on, he was getting tighter and tighter, and then he did enough to win. But I was uh, I was surprised when he first came out the way he was. That was not like a usual hat either. So I I assume this year that's going to be fixed for sure. What do you think, Jay? You think he's going to come in second? Um, to be honest, I I think Hadi has had, um, yeah, maybe I. I thought he looked pretty damn good last year. I thought what he had over everybody else um, was just that that pure <clears throat> look of muscle maturity, density, quality that a lot of the other guys were were lacking. Like he stood yeah. out. That makes him stand out, right? Um, right? And I thought that's what edged him over Derek. Derek last year he just he was there, but he just wasn't wasn't quite there yet. You know what I mean? I think this year is a different story. Um, I think Derek is, um, and the past couple of days, dude, the pictures I've seen of him, like yes. now his skin is getting like that thin look where it's yeah. almost transparent. You yeah. know, he still has a little time <laughs> left to dial in even more. Um, I think it'll be, I think it'll be a fight for second and third between Samson and, and uh, Hadi. Um, yeah. Hadi <clears throat> could still pull out second, you know, mm-hmm. um, you know, again, even if he's a little sharper than last year, but I want to see him stand next to the new Samson. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be a different year. Yeah, this, this is gonna be incredible. You're gonna have different looks from all three guys. Even Absolutely. if Hottie's in better shape, Derek's a year more mature with his freakiness and, and beautiful shape, and Samson, who's new and improved from the Arnold, and I'm sure he's new and improved coming into this one. Mm-hmm. Um, that those are that's going to be your battle, dude. That's they're going to make yeah. those guys grind it out. That's going to be interesting to see. Before we get to number three, I want to throw this guy. I want to throw this at you because I was thinking about this last night w- with Hadi. I, I think if it's very close, I am. I think they're going to give it to Derek, right? And if it if it's <clears> extremely <throat> close, and people could make arguments that Hadi could win, so on and so forth, I think they're going to give it to Derek if it comes down to that. And he is. Here's my reason why, and it's a little bit out of the box. We haven't had a good ambassador of bodybuilding as a Mr. Olympia since Phil Heath. 
And it's nobody's well, fault. Well, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Argue it's, that it's, he wasn't the best ambassador. No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on. But it wasn't. It's nobody's fault. So what I mean by that is Hani can't travel because he's from, from Iran and it's just difficult for him to get visas. Before that, it was uh, Rami. Rami kind of, you know, he didn't show up to that Pittsburgh pro for the guest posing and so on and so forth and, you know, got on everybody's shit list. Before that, it was Brandon and Brandon suffered because it was COVID and everything <laughs> was locked down. Before that, it was Roden. Uh, you know, before even before he passed away, he... um. He was under an uh, uh, he had charges of the, the grape allegation, right? And then before that, it was it was Phil. So Phil was the only one since then has been Mr. Olympia that has been a was able to actually get around, guest post, sign, travel here, travel there, go to different countries, so on and so forth. And I think, I think that they know that. And I think they want Derek to win. I don't think it's going to be unfair, but I think if it's close, they're going to give. Derek, the W, specifically for that. What do you guys think? Get Jose, what do you think? No, I don't think you're too far off. I think, um, listen, why wouldn't you want a fucking handsome white American to be Mr. Olympia? It sounds silly, but that is unfortunately the way shit is when it comes to marketing. And, uh, you know, Derek is great at what he does and he's, um, He'll certainly be able to reach more people, Western people than Hadi or Rami or, you know. Um, so yeah, you, you're 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 definitely right. But I think the best man will win. Yeah. Period. I don't. I don't. Yeah, it would be great to have Derek win and be Mister Olympia, which he will eventually, whether it's this year or next year. Um, yeah. It's just gonna happen. Yeah. Um, but I don't like to. I don't like to believe that. You know, for the integrity of the sport, I think the best guy will win. Period. Well, let me rephrase it then. Let Let me rephrase it. The IFBB, Jim Mannion, and um, who's the other guy? The Wings of Strength, dude. I forget his name. Jake Wood. J- Jake Wood. Uh, let's say they they're not gonna be uh you know uh fucking crying. If Derek wins, let's put it that way. They're going to probably be very happy if he wins. What do you think, Stan? Do you think I got a point or no? No, I mean I think everybody would be happy, but I don't think that's going to have an influence in the in the in the in the judging and the the result. Right. I think right, right. I've been judging really fairly, <clears throat> especially this year. I mean, <clears throat> it's really going in in a really good direct direction. They're also you know even explaining the judging after you know like with Tyler doing those videos and. Uh, and like I think that last year having Hadi win and it just you know really, really, before that people were saying no he's not going to win because he doesn't speak English well because that and this but they oh, they picked the right the right you know champion yeah. the best the stage and I don't think they're going to change this year I think yeah everybody would appreciate and enjoy having someone like Derek um, really leading the charge and like he's always traveling to shows you know he's a <clears throat> he's a good Christian you know. All American boy, like you know, everybody loves him. So definitely be a great look. In, in Wait, point. what do you think, Jay? Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I don't think they're going to give it to anybody. I think whoever deserves it is going to win. And I know you love your conspiracies and you know <laughs> and that kind of shit, but uh, hey, I got to come up with shit, man. <laughs> if, if that was the, if that was the case, they could have gave it to him last year. You yeah, know, no, I understand. Yeah. Save themselves, you know, give themselves 12 months of good business, you know. So I don't I don't agree with that. And 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 again, dude, we're we're competitors. So, you know, we were well, we were and Stan is, but we're athletes, dude. And for the integrity of the sport, none of us ever want to believe that. Mm-hmm. You know, we mm-hmm. always want, you know, we're in there and we've we have fought some tough battles and we want to believe that the best guy always wins. And you know, sometimes that isn't always necessarily so, you know, but um, in terms of the Olympia, yeah, did they could have did that last year, if that's the MO, but and will Derek be a great ambassador? Fuck, of course. You know, yeah, right. Right, right, right. Of course. It's, it's like when, when, uh, you know, when Arnold had in his prime or, or, you know, Jay or Ronnie, you know, Ronnie was a good Olympia dude. He drew a crown. Absolutely. You know, yeah, uh, no question. Lee you know, and Dor- Dorian too, you know, like any of those guys and, and they're right. They were, they were good good ambassadors for the sport. They did a lot for the sport. Derek will do so also. Um, it just so happens to be the past few years, 
you know, the uh, the Mr. Olympia, like I said, has not been able to do much to promote the sport. But if Derek does deserve it this year, I believe he will get it. And I, I think it could help, um, you know, further the sport even more. Right. Now, number three, I did a video. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, why I didn't think Nick Walker was going to break the top three. And in the comment section, it was um, 50-50. I think Samson's going to come in third, and I think it's going to be because of his shape and his structure, and he's uh, wider, and he has just as much muscle. You know, he has a, has a prettier physique. Um, but other people, other podcasts are saying this kind of the same thing, you know, the RX muscle and so on and so forth. And from what I understand, Nick has been hearing this, and he's been, you know, aggravated, which which I would be too. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't blame him. I'd be pissed off too if you count me out of the top three when I was three last year. But – that's why I have Samson third, because if Sam Samson looks fucking good, I don't know if you guys saw him recently. He put out a, a back workout today, and he looks amazing. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> that's the only reason I that well, that's a lot of reasons, but those are the reasons why I have Samson in third and Nick in fourth. Good, good, Jose, take it from there. I don't agree. I think uh, I think Nick beat Samson in a bunch of poses. Okay, and. Um, I don't think it's it's that easy of a call. Mm-hmm. We have yet to see them on stage. Nick gets an in incredible condition, and he absolutely demolishes Simpson in a rear double. That one, that's side it. too, dude. From the side, the side shots, the side chest, side chest, yes, yeah, in a in a front double. And I, oh, I, I don't know about that. I, don't know about I that. do. I think both his front and rear double are not what they could be. You know, it, it's as of yet, it, it, he could be incredible this year. Mm. But those are the two poses that stuck out to me. And, and that, those are the shots that really. So you thought Nick should have won the Arnold then? Not necessarily. I, I, I wouldn't, I, to be honest, I would have been fine with Nick, Sampson, or Andrew. I'm, I was fine with any one really? of them. Really? Yeah. Wow. They okay. all had their strengths. They all they all had, you know, different things that were really head and shoulders above the others. Yeah. I thought Nick's condition was by far and away better than everyone. I thought Andrew's physique was the prettiest by far, and in in Samson was the biggest. Like, oh, oh yeah, I thought Samson was a total package. <clears throat> I think Samson. You know, what thinks Samson lacks is his conditioning is good. It's not great. Right. But yeah, don't think that Milos doesn't know that. Right. So I'm um, expecting improvements only because he improves every show. But Stan, what do you think? Uh, I got Samson third, Nick fourth. What do you think? Uh, Jose says reverse that. What do you think? I mean, I would tend to agree with Jose too. Like, just because <laughs> Nick is super hungry, he wants to, you know, get that revenge on, on Samson. He wants to win. So he's been working hard. He's, I mean, I've seen him around. He's looking really huge. Oh, yeah. He's a freak. It's the Olympia. So it's uh, size is going to matter a lot. And I believe that this time, because they're pushing the conditioning on Samson and Nick is not going to make the same mistake that he did at the Arnold. I mean, this time I feel like Nick's going to probably tilt the, the scale in his, in his advantage and come in freaky and take over Samson, who might look a little lighter, maybe. I mean, I haven't seen the last video, like you said, but. Mm-hmm. The Olympia and size really matter. <clears throat> so I believe that if they play the conditioning, which they need to, you know, <laughs> that's the tricky part. They need oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there with something, but I don't know how much is going to hold at that point. And if I think they're going to pose a lot. So, you know, with his, like, Milo's protocol, like to load you up before stage, I'm not sure he's going to be able to hold the fullness uh, or during the posing rounds. But that's kind of like my 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 view on it. We, have we ever seen him not hold the fullness on the posing rounds, though? Say, I can, I can only go by what's happened in the past. Excuse me, sorry. So that's what I judge it on. I judge it on what's happened in the past and in the, in the, in the last, you know, three or four shows. Yeah, I mean, the Arnold, you, 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 got, you got better the next day because right. it's like you're rolling the dice every time with that, you know? Mm. What do you think, Jay? Well, I said in our last one that you can never rule Nick out, you know? And, and again, did you ever remember... You know, as I mentioned, Samson for third, it could go, you know, these are these are all guesses. We're all, we're all just yeah. guessing. Right, right, right. right. Um, and based upon the Arnold with, with Samson winning, but just like Jose said, dude, there, 
there was an argument for Nick winning that, you know? Um, and, and like I just said, there, this is the Olympia. They want to see the freaks. Um, you know, Jose said a quote years ago, dude, uh, you know, I'll never forget because I thought it was brilliant. You know, when, when uh, people go to the circus, they, they want to see the bearded lady, you know? And, That's right. It's uh, the truth. <laughs> and uh, um, not that Nick is the beard, but Nick is that guy, dude, you know? And, He's the freak. Absolutely. Nick will be the most, if not, if anybody's up to his level, the most conditioned guy in the show, right? Mm. Um, and he beats, you know, he's up there with Derek from the rear poses. You know? uh, no, his, his rear double by is probably one of the great. I said that in the video too. Well, his, his rear lat spread, his, his, his side chest and his side tricep are, are yeah, beautiful looking. You know, if you didn't, you didn't yeah. think if you, you wouldn't tell he had awkward shape when you saw him from the rear of the side. Right, he has awkward shape, but he looks a little boxy. Right. You know, with the, the absent thighs, the most muscular um, in the front lat spread, you know. Um, so that that's mm -hmm. where these guys could edge him out a little bit. Yeah. Sam, if Samson's a little off and Hottie's not as good as last year, Nick could be oh, second. There's no question about it. Right. Could be second. We, yeah. No, if, if those guys come off, I said that too, Nick could yeah. easily sneak in there. But I again. I, but also I, I, Samson's never been dialed in ready. Yeah, he's not. He's never been that, chiseled that, to the bone. Yeah, and that doesn't hold weight, you know, at the Olympia, dude. Uh, you know, agreed. The, agreed. The conditioning he had at the Arnold, it would not be the same placing with Olympia judges. It just, it just wouldn't be. Agreed. Well, last year at the Olympia, he was even softer than the Arnold and still got top six. Yeah. So yeah, he but, came in sixth. Yeah, right at the. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, he came in sixth last year, and yeah. uh, Nick was in was in fourth. So Jose, you think? Nick in third, then? Well, first of all, we keep talking about the improvements of Samson, the improvements of Derek. You're forgetting Nick is younger than both of them. So his upside is also still out of this world. Like, he yeah. could make a jump this year, like, out of the stratosphere, you know? We don't know. Yeah. Well, well I mean, you, you did see the, the – um, you do see uh, – he posts a lot on social media. So you can't see progress picks. And I don't think he's right. made the progress that Samson and Derek has. I mean, you look at yeah, Samson and Derek's progress. Yeah, but seen him on stage is different. You got to see yeah, Exactly. No, I, I agree 100%, but you could still see the progress they've made. And Derek and Samson's progress has been insane in compared to comparison to anybody else. Well, I think because, Nick, you don't see it as much because he's growing all over the same. You know, he's pretty much even. Like, he, he needs to improve his legs a little more than the rest. Where he's pretty pretty even out, so like he, he looks like he added like ten pounds from from the Arnold stage, you know. So if he's ten pounds bigger on his frame, that's that's a huge amount of muscle in in what six months, like since the Arnold Classic. If he's ten pounds, if he's if he's truly ten pounds heavier than he was from the Arnold or from the Olympia last year, then you know I'll put him in fucking second place because that yeah. that that out freaks. That's an insane freak of nature. Yeah, that's but, why I've been battling with Hadi for that second place for sure. Oh, oh, okay. Derek right. is so you, little, yeah. Um, all right. So, okay. Fifth place. I still got Brandon in fifth. What do you guys I think? Like that. All yeah. right. What do you think, I Jay? Because like Jay made a good point last week that I never thought of. Go ahead. Bring up that point, Jay. Yeah, it it depends, you know, what happens with his physique. And, Jose, I think you can attest to this, dude. When we get older, you know, like – Holding that look that final week is not as easy as it was when we were 10 years younger. You know, like you can even mismanage a little bit and still hold your fullness when you're younger. When you're when you're older, like look at Kevin and, and some of these LeVron, remember those days, like when they started getting older, the legs started going. When Dexter finally went, you know, like you started seeing things that just they look great a week out. And then once you dry out, dude, you take that take that water out and reduce everything else. And if you're using diuretics or misusing diuretics, um, your your body has a harder time holding that condition. That's where you know your age maturity isn't necessarily your best friend. So, you know, right. it's possible for him to be in fifth. You know, but we won't know until we see him. If we get the look that he was able to hold, yeah, dude, he could he could be a fifth place, you know, finisher. Um, if not, dude, he could be down the line. Right, 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 right. What do you think, Jose? Because he that's a great point. I never realized that. It's it is a great point, but I'm pretty sure um he's only 40. Like 
just turned 40. Yeah. And I improved after 40. I went on to win the Arnold Classic at 41 at my all-time best and biggest and best condition. And Brandon's not a guy that trains with 800-pound deadlifts and 700-pound squats. He's more of a Dexter guy that's just slowly chipped away and and kept himself healthy. So the, the pictures that I've seen, again, we can't go by pictures, but he looks healthy. He looks full. He looks in really good condition. He does. And he's more along the lines of Derek and Hadi. So if he's at his all-time best, it wouldn't surprise me if he could go as high as third oh, because he's got right. the shorter stature, real pretty physique, bubbly, you know. And if he puts it all together – which I have no reason yet to think that he can't because he is only 40 uh, and he's not one of those guys that has trained like a maniac. Um, I have a good feeling about him this year. I, I really do. And only because the top three guys from last year are all his height and shorter. Right. right, right. You know, he falls into that category of that smaller, prettier, more compact physique. So he could very well uh, surprise a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Good, Stan. What do you think? Well, uh, yeah, for, for the point you were making, I don't see Brandon coming flat. Like, he's never looked flat. He's always super round and bubbly. So I don't see – and he's only like, – like, again, like Jose said, he's only 40. Dexter, he was like over 50 when – you know, the last year when his physique kind of like finally given signs of aging – and I really believe that that last year we saw Dexter that way because he, he he trained differently. He didn't have to during COVID. He couldn't train with Charles, so he was training with the newbie with Brad Rowe, I believe. And I think they just overdid it and I just ate his physique away at his age. <clears throat> ah, okay. But now, as, I, okay, sorry. But I do think Brandon's looking like like he's coming in as his one of his all time best conditioning. He looks great. Yeah. I just don't know if he got the same roundness. So it's going to depend really how they pick him. And uh, I mean, they got a lot of data and experience, years of working together. So uh, it's probably a matter to just come to the States early enough and just get acclimated to the Florida weather. Um, yeah, that's right. I still keep yeah. thinking it's in Vegas, man. I still keep thinking that. <laughs> Um, then after, after fifth, now it starts getting dicey. Six through 10 starts getting really dicey. I got in sixth, I got Andrew Jack. Jay, what do you think? Um, dude, that's yeah. You could have Andrew up there. Um, I'm looking at the list now. You could have Hunter up there. You could have uh, yeah. The only reason I don't have Hunter in sixth is because Andrew beat him, and he beat a good Hunter. Right. You know. Yeah, I mean Hunter. Hunter was still not there yet. You know, yeah. Um, but I've seen some recent pictures, and he he looks better. He, he does look better. Oh yeah. Um, you know, and again, did great mm -hmm. shape, great symmetry, great look. You know, uh, you have him and a him and Andrew, which could <laughs> you know, sixth and seventh either way. And then dude, that's where I, I don't know, dude. It could be a toss up. There's, there's going to be a lot of guys after tenth place. It could be, you know switched around in any in any in any way yeah um, jose what do you what do you think man i agree with that i think um i think andrew could even slide up higher better because he's enormous right now and i just matter of like five minutes ago saw a bunch of pictures of him mm -hmm. like the most recent ones um and he looks Crazy, crazy huge. Oh, you new uh, side tricep? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, he looks like Dolly Parton from the side. It is, <laughs> it, it is crazy. Um, you know, I remains to be seen how much he can dry out between now and then. Um, but he is massive and real pretty. Uh, there's someone that I really like that – wouldn't surprise me if he ended up really well in the seven eight spot. Um, and that's uh, who, who's the kid that won the New York Pro this year? Tony O'Burton. Um, Tony O. Absolutely. I love that kid's physique. Yeah, I think it's 
It is reminiscent of Dexter. Yes. And he's another young kid who's just getting better and better and better. Yeah, I got him as my dark horse, too. Absolutely. I think he's breaking the top 10. I believe so. Yeah. Stan, what do you think? You think uh, Andrew Jack over Hunter or or reverse that? Yeah, no, no. I believe Andrew Jack can... It's going to be over Hunter because you already like he beat him in Texas and yeah, like that it was a very good um, Hunter. I don't know how much we didn't see much of a Hunter lately, or maybe just on my feet. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't seen many updates, so I don't know how much improvement he was able to make since uh, since Texas. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> but like Andrew is newer to the IFBB also, so you know his body is responding pretty fast. We see him compete and still making major progress. So. Um, I don't see Hunter catching up since Andrew was already ahead. Stan, you noticed the shirt that I wore? I wore the shirt for you, man. <laughs> for me? Yeah, because you're a basketball dude. And it's the yeah. Lakers and it's Kobe Bryant. Jose, do you remember that one video that uh, we never aired? <coughs> and and um, I wore a Boston Celtics jersey to you. you remember? I, t- I said, look, Jose, I wore this shirt for you. Remember what you told me? Yeah. What did I tell you? Fuck off. Yeah, you told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> right oh uh, shit yeah anyway i got hunter in seventh because i think uh i don't think he could beat andrew jack I, well listen if if andrew's got five ten pounds on and he dials in his hamstrings and his glutes it made it's lights out for everybody <laughs> you know, but but you know we got it we get to see that i think you- hunter lands in that area yeah no matter what because he's improved tremendously um, yeah, th- that version of him against Andrew was incredible, right? But he just it wasn't enough. But it's definitely enough to be in the top seven, eight area again. And yeah. that's where he's placed the last couple of years. He was fourth a couple of years ago, right? Yeah. The, the the thing was though, you know, you know, everybody. That's the problem. the The talent has gotten a lot better in the last two to three years. So when he plays fourth and then that year that um, Rami won and he plays fourth and uh, Brandon was second and Nick was fourth, the, the new blood coming in, the Derricks, the Sampsons, the the Andrew Jack, I mean, the, the, the Hotties. These guys are – no, Hottie was second, right? Yeah, Hottie was second. These guys were just – they're just too good. This is, an, this is a tremendous time for the top five in the Olympia. These guys are excellent. So and that and and guys like Hunter that normally would be in the top three or four, they're getting knocked out because these guys are too damn good, too damn good. But as you get lower, eight, nine, and ten, that's now it's like anybody's game at this point, right? Um yeah, so, with the guys like Nathan and all the guys, the bar- barus that are out, like yeah. Right. It can really open after that. Yeah. So yeah. Um I got my Chris on eight. Only because I think he's going to be big and uh, bubbly and conditioned, <laughs> but at that point, it's it's kind of anybody's game. What do you what do you what do you think, Jay? Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge Crizo. Look, he's a freak. He's impressive. Um, he he could crack the top ten you know, mm-hmm. if, if he's. I mean, I'm sure he'll be in shape. He usually is in decent shape. Um. But you know, I, I think like like we're just saying, top seven guys, dude. That's a really good quality top seven that we haven't had in a long time, um, a long time. You know, yeah. Uh, and and uh, you know, a lot of them are young. You know, so we could have a good competitive class. And some of these younger guys, like like your um, uh. Tonio and 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 uh, Crizo and guys, these it leaves room for improvement where these guys could try to battle their way in and become more competitive. It's going to make the smaller shows definitely more interesting because they they've been a little lackluster after yeah. the top two or three. Um, which, which is why I was glad they changed the <clears throat> top five to top three. Yeah. Um, for the Olympia qualifications, because at least we'll get to see more quality guys on stage. They're not going to have a choice. But Greg, don't mean to cut you off. Um, and guys like Regan, who I'm a fan of, but he's not there yet, you know. Um, but there, there's some good younger guys coming up that uh, I think it's a good time for the sport. I think it's a really good time for the sport that we haven't seen, like I said, in, in uh, fuck, in quite a while. Yeah, Too you long. ain't kidding. You, you probably, long. probably the Phil Kai 
State, yeah, Dennis Wolf, yeah, Phil Kai, yeah. you know, Roden. Those, those, that was those days. Um, Jose, what do you? A nine and ten is is rough. What do you think? What do you think? Can, do you have the list in front of you? I sent it to you. I know, but I'm on my phone. Oh <laughs> yeah, I got it in front of me. Yeah, what do you want? Quickly run down, like real fast. Okay, Nick Walker, Brandon Curry, Samson Dowda, Tony Burton, Ross Flanagan, uh, Mike Crizzo, yeah. Phil Clahar, Andrea Presti. Hassan Mustafa, Justin Shear, Roman Fritz, Hunter, Andrew Jack. That's it. Oh wow. Regan. Yeah, that is that is oh, a crap Re- shoot. There's Regan, Regan. T.O. Laguerre and Charles Griffin. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Charles. Charles Griffin, you're right. Theo, you're 100 percent right. I apologize. Regan Grimes, Theo, and Charles. Yes, they made it too. Apologize. Yeah. Charles is another one that could really uh, upset a couple people. Is that Chubby? No, that's Diesel. Okay, all right. The young one. Go ahead, Jose. <clears throat> He's just rock hard. That guy's growing at an alarming rate in crazy condition. He's learning how to pose. He's pulling vacuums. His waist is tiny. Yeah. Um, he's he's dangerous. Big time. A lot of guys don't hit their peak. And Charles has, like, the last three shows in a row. Yeah. And I see no reason why he won't again. He's a guy that could definitely be in the top ten. I got him. I actually got him in 10th. I got Mike Crizzo, 8th, Tony O'Burton, ninth, and Charles Griffin in 10th. Uh, what do you think, Stan? Because 8, 9, and 10 could be anybody's game at that point. What do you think? I agree. But I, I, I really <clears throat> I really like, well, I think Crizzo. His conditioning at the last show was like way better, way better than ever, ever. Right. He needed to still work on his, you know, posing because it was yeah. shaky. The far as the package is bringing, you know, with the size and the conditioning on the Olympic stage, I think it's going to definitely weigh in his favor. Um, but then I think, yeah, Tony Burton, Justin Shire, all these guys. Gonna, I, I really like Justin Shire, and I think his chances are really good. Uh, at the uh, at the Olympia now, like I think he can really break the top ten. Yeah, Justin can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, if he comes in diced, he could definitely break the top ten because he's kind of a. That's his only drawback is he's not. We've never seen him chiseled. Yeah, and exactly. In, and the in the Olympia, you you know, you can't have very good conditioning. You have to have incredible conditioning at the Olympia. What do you we, think? We 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 haven't that? seen him. We haven't seen him in crazy condition as a pro. Right. When he won at nationals, he was crazy. Yeah. Un- unbelievable. Now, if he can combine the new size with that condition he had back then, um, that's a dangerous dude because he's got tiny waist, huge arms, big round legs. Um, you know, some of the things that I don't like, one was the condition could have been better when he won that show. Which show did he win? Chicago. Toronto? Chicago, Chicago. With some of his posing, like his um, rear double was kind of weird. He was kind of sticking his ass out, hitting a rear double. And, you know, you got to show the condition by locking down the muscle. Uh, yeah, and you have the glutes to show, and he would show more a doctor doing that. So I think that was the right call. He didn't have to try showing the glutes anyway. Well, that's just it. If he, if he doesn't have them, then it's, yeah. it's a moot point. But yeah, I think he can present himself a little better and and be in better condition than he was in Chicago, and he'll be dangerous. Even uh, Tio, yeah. Tio like here from France. I mean, he won the last show uh, in Italy. I, th- I think he looked really good at that show. The condition was on point. He did. He just he just he he looks like a little bit bigger than a men's physique guy. He doesn't have the size yet. He's two seventy five on stage. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's tall and big. Really? You don't realize it because, yeah, but once he's next to the other guys, that's when you realize. He's actually really big. Did not know that. Did not know he was 275 on stage. I stand corrected. I don't know why he doesn't appear massive. His Uh, head is really big. (laughs) He's got a big ass head. (laughs) He's got a Rottweiler head. (laughs) And and he's tall. He's tall. Yeah. I also Uh, like Presti. Presti has the craziest chest and shoulders like really dense through the chest shoulders arms but but guys like andrea guys like andrea presti and theo you think they could break the top 10 this year as far as 
the show, you know, I think as, you know, the way it's open now with, uh, or, you know, the Berus, the Nathan, or the Kamal that are out, now there's only, what, 15 guys in the show? Yeah, it's not, so, you, know, you know. One or two sleeps and they come in really good. And they, now they're going to have a look because there's not that many guys to look at. Yeah, so, you're right. You're right. Yeah, good point. Yes, good point. Regan Grimes, too. We didn't put him yeah. in the top 10. Uh, but it's very possible he could be because he has the shape, the size, and he just needs conditioning. He looks like he has very young muscle. What do you think, Jay? Oh, dude, I, I think he's uh, the future. You know, I think he's got all the <laughs> all the potential to be um, a future front runner. A um, little more size, uh, dialing in his his. Uh, his finishing, you know, dialing in his, like the last minute prep for him really would make a difference because we've never seen him as dry as one should be, right. you know, competing at this level. Um, and for somebody like him who carries, you know, beautiful shape like that, dude, I mean, that's that that stands a long way on these stages. You know, it's a, like you said about Brandon Curry, you know, these guys that have that that is blessed with that shape. You can't train for that, dude. And it's, it's it's just a different look when you're under those lights and you're comparing somebody else. So you have to be in that top shape or you know in top conditioning, um, you know, to get rewarded when you're when you're not maxed out on your size yet. You know, when you're still a little young. Right, right. right but he right. he could be a top ten guy this year uh, without a doubt if he dials it in right. Um, yeah. But again, I think we have a lot of good talent, you know, coming in. Um, and and for the next few years to come. Do you uh, agree with that, um, Jose? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I think Regan's awesome. He's just got a lot of real estate to fill out. Yeah, he's yeah. tall. He's wide. I think his back shots are really impressive. His hamstrings. He's got yes. a very complete back, thick lower lats, and and it's a real pretty physique. He just has a lot of real estate. He doesn't have the biggest arms. He's not super thick front to back, but that being said, this is what's exciting about this year's Olympia is that nobody's like a runaway in that top 10. There's, you know, from, from six to 11, any one of them could flip flop. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And that makes it exciting to watch. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no question about it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to throw some other name. We, uh, Presti, I don't think he's going to be able to break the top 10. Um, because I just think the competition's too, too, uh, too great. Ross Flanagan. That's a guy that nobody's been talking about. Um, he doesn't do podcasts. Uh, he's, he's, he's very private. I know he does, uh, his, in his Instagram, but he did beat Tonio. And what was your Cali? Yeah. in Cali. Right. What do you guys think about Ross? Because nobody's been talking about him. He's very well. He came in peeled at at Cali. What do you guys think? Thinking he's a little more stubborn, but but we haven't seen much. I mean, I personally haven't seen many updates since uh, since his win. Yeah, he doesn't do he doesn't do many updates. He's more of a private guy. I tried to get him on. He basically told me no. I don't do podcasts. You know. Um, but when you know he's he's kind of he's kind of one of those guys that you totally forget about, and he comes on stage and it's like, oh shit, you know who's that? As he did this year at Cali, because everybody had Tony O'Burton. Um, because what was it was Ross Tonio, and then who was the other kid? Stu. Stu, yeah, Stu, yeah, right, Stu Little or whatever. What's his, what's his fucking beef? Stu, sorry, Stu Little. Little. That would be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and stuff. Let's not forget Phil Clayhar. I know he's older. He's 49 years old. Um, his back is amazing. Uh, I think it's his his front pose is kind of or is, it, is his Achilles heel. But what do you guys think? Well, he's dangerous for too sure. Yeah. Also, it's uh I think like we said, like everybody after that kind of like yeah, flip, you know, flip-flop, depending how they show up. Um, feel has a lot of size, which is gonna matter on this stage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna matter how how he picks for this show, because right, right, right. a lot of people had him winning the Master Olympia, and he didn't do that. <laughs> Unfortunately, he had some, you know, I think, some trouble traveling and stuff. But yeah, uh, medical issue. He had an infection in his leg, actually. And so, uh, yeah, well. and he still came in third. Yeah, and he had, yeah, uh, which I didn't think because he had Max Charles in second. I don't know, but that that threw me off. Max Max gets 
looked at a lot, maybe because he's Max and he gets, he seems to be getting gifts in the last couple of shows. Like he, he came in, what was it? Fourth in the Legion or fifth in the Legion. And I didn't agree with that, but, and they gave him second at masters. Uh, but anyway, that's another, another story. <laughs> Do you guys? Yeah. I mean, I just, I just, after a while, it's like, you know, you know, you try to be nice, but after a while you got to call a circle, a circle. He, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have got, gotten that high in the masters or in, in Legion. He's just from the back. There's nothing going on anymore. It's just, he looks like beat down. His muscle looks beat. He looks like he's an older bodybuilder that's beat. Anyway, I think he is. Yeah, I think he is a lot older. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. If Derek wins, we haven't had a dominant Mr. Olympia since Phil Heath. You think Derek could be uh, the dominant Mr. Olympia, like a Dorian or a Ronnie or a Lee, Lee Haney? I mean, no. but there's so much competition, like we said. Yeah. It's just uh, that's what's making it really interesting, but it's hard to to not see like Samsung keep improving and Andrew and Nick is going to always be right there if you if you miss a step. Or <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. What do you think, Jake? When you, oh, when sorry, you said again. a dominant Olympian like Dorian <laughs> or Ronnie, no, no, he, I think he could win multiple Olympias. Mm -hmm. But not six in a row or eight right. in a row. Um, that's a whole different animal, you mm -hmm. know. But could he win two, three, maybe even four? Um, possibly. But yeah. he's got a whole young crew around him, as as Stan just said, mm -hmm. that are improving right along with him. And anything can happen. I just don't think... You know, when I think of a dominant Olympian, I think of someone who's head and shoulders, literally taller, wider, bigger, harder. And Derek's just prettier. You know, he, he's in that. I don't know how long that that could could carry him. Right. It, it, I think he's definitely uh, uh, worthy of multiple Olympia wins, but he's a smaller stature guy. Mm. So I think they're always going to be looking for the that beast to come out of the woodwork and just take over. Right, 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 right. So you think a guy like Samson or Andrew, if they got everything right, could that kind of bodybuilder would be the dominant? Maybe not so much because they're a little bit older too. That's you true. Know? Too. Yeah. Samson, I mean, uh, Andrew, I don't even know how old he is. He might be 37, 38. I'm not sure. Yeah, he is. I think he is. So how many is he going to win? We could win yeah. two, three, four. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot harder to repeat over and over again like that than anyone yeah, could ever imagine. You're right. We forget Lee Haney retired at 31, right? Right. Yeah. What do you think, Jay? You think you could be a dominant Mr. Olympia or you think uh, like um, it's just too much competition? I, I do. I, I think he could do a four or five year run. Um, he's got the, the, the youth to do it. And, I don't see another taller, and I, I get, and I respect Jose's point, but I don't see a taller, dominant guy waiting in the wings to take him for that. Um, mm -hmm. I think with Derek's structure, um, the next year or two could be his best two years as Mr. Olympia. Kind of like, you know, I, I like Ronnie's look in 98 when he first won. I thought it was yeah, his yeah. best look. Every year he still blew people away, but it but it was a different look, you know, where right, right. Derek can only hold so much weight at that at that height and size that he has. If he's if he if he starts getting distorted, it could be a different different ball game. But if he can maintain that integrity, I think he could run run this for at least four or five years until somebody else comes up um and then really tries to challenge him, you know. Right. Um you know, Jay had a good run until until you know uh, yeah. until Kai you know became Kai. You know, um, Jay Cutler. You mean? I mean, Cutler. I'm sorry. Yeah, Cut. I mean, I uh, Phil Cutler had a good run until Phil became Phil. Right? We right, saw right, Phil, right, right. Yeah. Phil being the dominant one. You know, yeah. um, <clears throat> until Phil really maxed out his physique. You know, Jay had what? What Jay have four? Four. four, four. four. He lost. He, he lost one to Dexter and came back. One was, so a, that gift. was a, a five year run, but only because he was off. You know, I really um, believe that Victor should have won that one. That was a bit of a gift. That was a different year. That was yeah. uh, that um, was oh seven. 
Yeah. Was, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Derek could 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 run this for four to five years. Yeah, I think so too. Um, uh, I, I'm just going to throw this out because this is the last question. But if Nathan was able to compete, how do you guys think he would he would do? Because my personal opinion, taking all emotion out of it, I don't think he'd be able to. Um, if he did break the top ten, it would be in the lower ten. It would be nine, tenth, eleventh, things like that. You're well, you're crazy. just mad because he still owes you money for steroids. So you're just, <laughs> you got to deal with that, dude. You're not going to recoup that, dude. It's a loss. Take it as a loss. I'm taking emotion out of it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm totally. I, I think he would have been one of those guys closer to the 10th. Yeah, me too. Or a little further. What do you think, Stan? Personally, I would see him battling with the Hunter, Creaso. Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. He's got that roundness. He's got a pretty physique. He's hard. <clears throat> but like that's still like you know six, seven, eight. I could see him as high as yeah. Really? That's that's actually I was not expecting you to say that. What do you think, Jose? I agree with Stan one hundred percent. Really, dude? All he does is win shows. <laughs> uh, absolutely, out, it's true. He goes out and wins. He's got yeah. like eleven wins. Or eleven something. wins. Yeah, there's no yeah. His, his career is stellar. There's no question about it. You're right about that. And and you know you might want to make fun of his long torso or whatever, but when he stands next to everyone else, he stands out. He's rounder. He's bigger. His condition's great. He just he just wins. And, and I think he would do the same here. It wouldn't surprise me if he was sixth. Yeah. Okay. So like when you see him, like when I had the chance to see him compete and he just it's so bubbly, just like just everything explodes at you. His chest, shoulder, arms, just everything just <laughs> it's crazy yeah. when he comes up. It's really you something. Know, again, taking emotion out of it, I really wish I would we would be able to see him on there because we saw him compete against the like, you know, the old blood and and how he did. I would love to see how he would do against this new blood. You know the the Andrew Jackson uh, and the Hunters and the Brandons. Well, I know Brandon's an older, but you know the Crizos and the Tonios. I would love to see how he meshes up against those guys because you're right. He's a different type of physique. He does stand out. He does come in good conditioning. He does have this round bubbly, but he does have flaws. He has high lats. He has that long torso. He does, his his uh, rear double by is questionable. So I would love to have seen him in the Olympia to see how he would stand against th- these guys. Um, but uh, in my personal opinion, I think he would have been the lower, like between eight. If he would have broke it, it would have been eight, nine, and ten kind of guy. I don't think you know. But it, it, what, what's funny is like the difference between sixth and eighth in the Olympia is like a fucking lifetime. <laughs> it's like a completely two different bodybuilders. I don't know. Um, who else? Tabani. That too. That guy is just. It's just you know bad luck because he's from. Is he from Iran? Right. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that guy. That guy is a tremendous bodybuilder. It's just you know, um, Brett Wilkins had a stomach ache, so he can't he can't uh, compete. And uh, Ian's done. And what happened? Ian's done. Yeah, Ian wants to have a family, which I can't I can't blame him. You know, I mean that's you know. I think so it was a Jose. great call. So does Jose. We just got to find a uh, mate. Yeah, we gotta find uh, a mate for him. What are we dog yeah. breeders? <laughs> yeah, put out the feeders for me, <laughs> right. Jose. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Uh, totally off bodybuilding, because um, you're Spanish, and uh, why I'm is not it Spanish? You are. You fuck. You're Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, I'm not from Spain. That's not Spanish. Oh, you're Latino. Exactly. Oh, excuse me for, for screwing up the the dialogue, screwing up the right terminologies. Yeah, uh, different kind. Of, <laughs> Dude, Spain is a country. <laughs> Dude, Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. Exactly. To me, Spanish is to me Spanish is every country oh, underneath so Texas. So disrespectful. Yeah. Right? every right? country underneath Texas seems to be Spanish to me. <laughs> well, what country? What, what language did you do you speak in? Fucking Guatemala. Spanish. Yeah, English. exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let, let me get to let me get to this. If uh, this happened to me recently. And I was talking to a Spanish girl, right? And I don't speak Spanish. And this was in the gym. And it was just, you know, friendly conversation. Just, oh, I told uh, Jay about this. And his his friend, her friend or whatever, the Spanish guy, starts like talking to her in Spanish and kind of like trying to 
why did they why did they do that? Why did they like come over and like try to bond with the Spanish girl when the white guy or the black guy is trying to talk to the Spanish girl and go, see, I I'm Sp- I could I could bond with her. You you can't kind of deal. Why don't they understand that cock blocking is not is not good in any culture? What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> why don't Spanish? Yeah, yeah. Why, why don't Spanish guys understand that cock blocking in any way, shape, or form is not acceptable? Well, Just you use power. your strength. <laughs> whatever, whatever you your power is, you use it. And his strength was the bond of speaking Spanish. Yeah, you lose. It, it could have been her brother or cousin say, "Stay away from this fucking crazy white boy." Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to fight. You they don't. don't they, they don't know me like that, man. They don't know. They just what see me in the gym. <laughs> Did you hear what? the word puta or gringo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. But it's it's happened to me multiple times. Like it's happened to me. Like even if I'm just like. I remember talking to a girl behind the counter that worked at the gym that was Spanish. And then the other guy. You think you pick up on it by now. Yeah, really? You think right. I fucking not. <laughs> anyway. Or at least learn Spanish. I can't. Right. I, I tried. I tried. I told you. Oh, you, oh, you weren't on the show when I said that. You know I, uh, that. I, um, Stan, I bought the. Uh, well, what is it? Uh, Rosetta Stone. Oh, nice. <laughs> but, uh, but it was. Babel. I it's a new one, Babel. Yeah, I think I, it was the first step. Then you need to actually, you know, play it. I, and, before yeah, I was yeah, listen to it. I, I, I before I was married, I was talking to the Spanish girl, and she couldn't speak any English. So I had a friend come over and translate. And I said, "Tell her I would ask her for her number, but I don't speak Spanish." So I got Rosetta Stone, but she's got to be uh, patient because it's my third time trying. <laughs> And, Just go, go translate. and then I said, but she's got to let me know within 60 days because so I can get my money back because it's a money back guarantee if she's still interested. <laughs> oh, that seemed to work. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it didn't not, work at all. Not too well. Yeah. You're no. just going to fix Work on your game. Don't worry about Spanish or French. Nah, or I have no game. Else. I'm married. I'm married. I, there's no game. It's just it's a wrap. It's over. There's no game. Yeah, I don't even. You heard me before. I can't even jerk off right anymore. I'm like retarded. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, that might have had something to do with it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Great. gentlemen. And sex. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you coming on. Much love, much much respect. Always. Thank you so much um, for doing the uh, breakdown, the 2023 Olympia breakdown, and we will see what happens in what week and a half, two weeks, two weeks, right? Yeah, not this weekend, the following weekend. So a week and a half. Ten days. All right. Yeah. Fellas, thank you very much and have a good evening. All right, John. See you guys. Peace. Later.